Welcome. Thank you for your patience. Ironically, today's discussion is about working from home with kids. And I am late because I had to work at home with my kids. So I am living the journey that you're on. Let me get my equipment together. I'll be right on there. There we go. Make sure everybody's ready to go. Shout out to Amazon Live. I think we're live now. Hey, Welcome. My name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My thing is to help you as a side hustler, as a solopreneur, or as otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. I'm the author of several books. Most recently, Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. I am geeked about this book. Uh, you guys helped me celebrate my launch of it last Thursday. It was like an eternity ago. I <laughs> like, like three launch parties. I a bunch of media events. It was so much fun. Uh, definitely old school, particularly since we're sheltering in a place as we're live right now, as you know, if you're listening live. And it was great to be able to connect with all y'all. I love going on the road. Love my family, love my wife. I also love going on the road and connecting with y'all in person. Built from now, how to know your power, see your abundance, and nourish the world. Uh, you guys are grabbing the audio books. You're grabbing the paper, paperbacks, paperbacks, physical books, paperbacks, and also the digital versions on all the platforms. The audiobook's really blowing up. You guys are getting all kinds of platforms. If you follow me on Twitter at um, Brown Damon, you know, I just gave a shout out to Storytel and a few other audiobook platforms that I frankly never heard of. And you guys are really supporting uh, Bring Build From Now on there. I spent a lot of time on the audiobook and I'm really proud of it. Again, it's Build From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, Nurse the World. Available everywhere. I've been waiting to say that for several, several months. Uh, but we'll talk more about the book a little bit later. Uh, if you want to learn more about me, I am at DavonBrown.net. That's, <laughs> you learn about my kids. You can probably hear them screaming. Uh, but built from built from now and my coaching practice, my TED Talks, all that good stuff. You go to DavonBrown.net, learn more about that. If you want signed copies of Built From Now, as well as the best-selling predecessor, um, The Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur, or if you want to grab the precursor uh, to uh, Built From Now, Bring Your Worth which begins the discussion that happens in Build From Now. You can grab them over my website. You can also get the cool merch, such as a t-shirt for Build From Now, as well as my Bring Your Worth mug. Mm. I am still recovering from my launch, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be moving a little bit slower today, uh, but my family's from South Jersey, so maybe it'll help for me to slow down my language a little bit. So if you're into this vibe, I come to you every Wednesday at 11.30 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time, because that's where I'm based. If you like what you're seeing, please like, share, comment, or subscribe. Like, share, comment, or subscribe. If you're on LinkedIn, you can do the claps and all that stuff, which I so appreciate y'all for coming through. And there a lot of y'all come through through LinkedIn. Um, I have my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Brown Damon. I'll throw the link up in a second. If you're coming through there, do a like, share it, do a comment, subscribe which is really, really, really hot stuff. <laughs> well, that's a really good question. I already got a new question. Do you think of babysitting or having kids yourself is worse? Man, I wasn't really a big babysitter when I was growing up. So I don't know much about babysitting. Um, I babysat uh, my proverbial nieces and nephews. I think they're both kind of tough. Um, when you have your own, you never really drop them off. So I'll leave it at that. And one of the biggest things that I learned Actually, let me go ahead. <laughs> let me let me let me back up a little bit. Today we're going to talk about and thank you, Anna, for your for your question. It popped up on my phone. Um, today we're talking about working from home with kids, and that was actually the subject of um, I worked with Costco to do my book launch for again Build From Now, and um, that was the subject of that. And I want to bring some of that energy over here and, and break it down a little bit more. There were a lot of people in the launch party over at Instagram Live. Um, I'll throw up the link. So if you want to check out the Instagram live and check out that for 45 minutes, 40 minutes, however long it was, it was a lot of people that came through. 18,000 plus of y'all came through, which was bigger than any book launch I've ever done. You know, be 100% honest with you. So we broke, I broke down these three different tenants, but there might've been a little bit of chaos there where I want to make sure I broke it down even further. And if you weren't able to attend the launch party. So today we're going to talk about working from home with kids. And um, Anna Karenna had a, a wonderful, love the name had a wonderful question where she said, is uh, is it harder to babysit or to have your own kids? It's definitely harder, I believe, to have your own kids um, because you can't drop them off. And when uh, we had my first child and uh, we have two kids, four and seven, we had our seven-year-old who you hear in the background. Um, it was cool because like, okay, we have a baby, we're gonna take him home. 
you know, and it'll be all nighters and stuff. It'll be fine and all that. And then it was like by day three of not sleeping, then it's like, wait, nobody's coming to save us. Like we're not gonna get a break. This is forever, ever, as Andre 3000 used to say. It's like forever, ever. That hits differently. Um, we're in the middle of a pandemic as I'm writing this, hopefully towards the end of it. No matter what, if you're here in America, in most of the states, we're sheltering in place, or at least we're trying to. And so whatever we're dealing with as far as working from home, at least for me, I'm approaching the year point as far as my boys being at home. Again, I just launched a book. I, I got a coaching practice. I'm still a very active journalist. I have a column with Inc. Magazine. I have a lot of one-off projects I do. I do consulting. So work from home is tough. And this is going to be the place where we might be for a little while. So I want to break down three major ways that we can do that. Um, just to finish my introduction, and thank you again for the question, Anna. Um, if you want to learn more about your resources, you can take the free quiz at builtfromnowquiz.com, builtfromnowquiz.com. That's based on my new book, Built From Now. And it will show you your biggest resources right now, which might be very, very helpful as we kind of shelter in place and uh, figure out how to work from home with kids. I work from home for couple decades. I've written about an in Ink magazine. You go to inkdamonbrown.com to check it out. Um, but I've been working from home for two decades. And as soon as the kids came in, which was about seven, eight years ago, then it changed the game. So I'm going to break down some of that stuff. Um, if you want to learn more about Built From Now, you can get the audiobook at bit.ly bit slash build from now. You can get it on Amazon. If you're checking on Amazon, it's highlighted right now. So welcome to my Amazon Live subscribers. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, no matter what platform you're on. Uh, if you want to Apple Books, then you got the link right there, that bit.ly slash Damon Apple Books. If you want to do the indie bookstore route, shout out to my indie bookstores. Love y'all. It's bookshop.org slash shop slash Brown Damon. That's bookshop.org slash shop slash Brown Damon. Sorry, I can't talk today. And if you want a signed paperback of this, or as I mentioned, the merch, or if you want the box set, including all three books, Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur, Bring Your Worth, and uh, and the new one built from now, which I'm not an octopus, but it's the best I can do, you can come on over to DamonBrown.net. Again, I go send you a signed copy, signed with my own little hands. And so if you want some of that, or if you want some of the merch, come through. All right. So we're going to talk about the three big things that will help you working from home with kids. I'm still practicing this stuff. So I am not an expert. I'm not Dr. Spock. I'm not, you know, the other other kids experts. I do not pretend to be. All I am is a primary caretaker of my two kids and have done a, a couple of startups. So one of them had a best selling books and have a coaching practice while having the kids at home. So that's what I'm coming from. Not from a psychologist. I have a, my master's, but there's no no letters behind my name. And so just to keep that clear. All right. So the first thing, and I did not put this in the chat, but I will say that to you. I shouldn't just put it in the chat now. So number one, if you break, the house breaks. I'll throw that in the chat. If you break, the house breaks. Again, if you came through my Costco live party, you heard me talk about this. What I mean by that is, if you don't take care of yourself, then everything's gonna fall apart. Um, if I get sick, if I don't do the self-care, if I don't um, connect with my friends on Zoom because we're social distancing, if I don't do those things, I meditate every morning or at least try to. Um, I do daily walks when it's not too crazy. Uh, Heat-wise uh, in here in Las Vegas, if I don't do those things then everything else is gonna fall apart. Push yourself to your limit doesn't make any sense. I have to remind myself of this all the time. That's why I'm bringing it up to you. And if you're an active parent, I think that's the term that they use nowadays. At least they used to when I first became a parent. If you're an active parent, as, as in you're involved every day, you're not off at work and then coming home and having a nanny, all that stuff. So if you're hands-on, I think that's the term they use now. If you're hands-on like I am, you need to do the self-care. That is absolutely necessary. It can, you cannot discount it. After I hang up with y'all, I'm gonna have a nice lunch. And then as I talked about my Costco live party last week, I'm going to take a bath tonight. I'm going to probably meditate. I'll try to squeeze in a nap, even though I have a lot of stuff on my plate, but it's so important to do that. I got two little kids that are depending on me. And if I break down, then the house breaks down. If you're the primary caretaker, then, you know, give it a shout or give a chat or whatever, a heart, whatever platform you happen to be in, and let me know that you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, one book that I think is really good as far as understanding the boundaries and figuring out how to guide your kids is uh, the good news about bad behavior. Sorry, the chat got mad, mushed up there, but I will hold up the book. They're gonna get that on there. So it's good news about bad behavior. It's by Catherine Reynolds Lewis. I got to know her through um, our mutual um, our mutual friend Laura Vanderkam, who actually does really good books about time management. I've mentioned her several times on this program. Uh, she's also really good as far as talking about time management. But we're talking about Catherine. This book is fascinating because it's it's all in the title. Your kids aren't going to be perfect. As soon as you let go of some of that perfectionist gene. You know, then then you start to realize that there are certain ways where you can let go of the parenting a little bit. And this is actually based on uh, she's a fellow journalist. And it's based on an article that she did. I believe her mother, Jones. And right before she got her book deal, it became the most shared and most talked about uh, uh, article in Mother Jones's history. Mother Jones is a major political um, publication, also talks about activism. They have some big viral articles. So this is something that all of us are struggling with on some form or another. That was before the pandemic. I actually went to her book, book signing like three years ago. It was before the pandemic. Even gave her a hug. Can you imagine that period of time? So this was a while ago. Imagine now, now that we're all sheltering in place. So I highly recommend it. This is the hardcover. Again, I got it signed and everything. Um, but the paperback is out. I believe she has an audio book out too. But the book's doing really well. I highly recommend it. It helped me as well as my wife chill out a little bit. And as soon as you chill out a little bit, then it allows you to do that. Like, you know, not expecting the dishes to be done perfectly as far as them putting their food away. Um, not expecting um, things to be completely tidy 100% in their room. There's certain details where letting those go and slide just a little bit actually allows you to work from home more. The fact that I'm talking to you, and I think this is my... 14th live program that I have with y'all. So congrats to me and thank you for, for showing up all these weeks. So every Wednesday in a row for I believe three months now, I wanna say November, I started. So now we're at the beginning of February. I've been showing up for you all 11.30 and it's always been convenient. Like I said, I had some stuff going on with my kids right before I got on here. That's me coming on a couple minutes later. But me not going for perfect allows me to show up every day. And then that also affects my self care. I'm not breaking down. Let's put that back up there. I'm not breaking down because I'm allowing that latitude for my house. Um, I have good friends that their biggest advice to me when I, before I became a parent was to not be a perfectionist about it and not have everything perfectly clean. Because the way the kids go, if they're anything like my kids and all the kids I know, they're going to tear up all kinds of stuff. And then you're going to spend all night trying to clean it back up to get it back to perfection. There needs to be some type of balance. You can't live in a pig spot, Sty. I'm not saying that. But you also can't live in um, you know, the Palace of Versailles. You know, there has to be some type of balance between that because something's going to give. I know a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. I've been there before. <laughs> My back was bothering me last week. That's because I was pushing myself too hard. It's like you have those signals, I, it pays to listen to them. All right. So Catherine's book, highly recommended. The good news about bad behavior. Again, if you're watching on Amazon, you can see what's going on there and see the link. And then I'll throw the link up here. All right. So that's number one. Number two, um, if you number one, if you break down, the house breaks down. Number two. Number two. Know your resources and know what you're capable of. Again, if you came through the Costco Live launch live party, can't talk today, for work from home with kids, you can click the link on there. It's over on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Brown Damon. You'll see it right up there under the Bring Your Worth TV. Um, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just click right over. But know your resources and what you're capable of. What I mean by that is you have to know what you're working with. Um, I'm approaching middle age. I think I slept okay last night, but I'm still feeling really tired. Um, I have major deals I'm working on. As we speak today, I have launch parties and events that I can't wait to share with y'all that I'm closing on the details on that will be happening throughout this month. And it looks like we're extending into the spring. All these things are going on. I can spend 20, 30 minutes with you. I can't do an hour long program. I just can't. 
because I don't have the resources for it. It doesn't make any sense. And that's one of the challenges that we end up having is that we don't actually know what resources we have until we take a look at the resources we have. And so we're just doing things. We're doing things because it feels like that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? I should be um, starting a new startup. I should be writing a new book. I should be starting a, a business. I should be spending 500 hours a week with my family. But then sometimes we don't check in and say, wait a second, I only have this much capacity. We forget about our capacity. Um, there's a lot of, and I mentioned this, if you, you've seen the program before, you know what I'm talking about. With uh, the new book, Bill From Now, there's a lot of other things I was planning on doing with it. A lot of other things. And I had to scale back. Not a bad way. Like, I'm super proud of the book. The book is great. Like, I'm, it's my best book yet. I'm very proud of it. And I'm pretty hard on myself when it comes to my books. So I mean that. Um, but there's so many other things I wanted to do that I couldn't because I didn't have the resources for it. And a lot of time we talk about resource, we talk about financial. Um, and let me highlight this because it's one of the books I want to highlight when it comes to knowing your resources, because that's literally what the book is about. And I'll throw the link up there. Again, sorry for the messy link. Um, but knowing what you're capable of right now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to do great stuff later. And one of the reasons why there's different events and fun stuff that's happening going into the spring, it looks like, based on build from now, is because I wasn't able to do all those things in January. It wasn't in my capacity or it wasn't in my partner's capacity. Partner is in the people that I'm partnering with, the organizations, the event planners, the media, et cetera. All those different things. And guess what? We're still sheltering in place for most of us here in America. So with that in mind, it's just like, no, we're not gonna be able to do the same thing we're able to do when um, I did my book, uh, The Predecessor, Bring Your Worth. When I did that in 2019, I had like, salons and I was hanging out with people at TED and stuff and that's not going to happen this time. But there's a lot of stuff that I can do. And once you accept and understand your resources, which is what this book is about, understanding your limitations. Once you understand your limitations, then you're able to do bigger things because you get it. If you understand, understand your limitations more, of course, you can grab the book, which is available everywhere. Thanks for having a good launch last week. Um, or you can take the Bill From Now quiz at uh, billfromnowquiz.com. And um, it's a free quiz. It'll take you a couple minutes to, to do it. And it'll give you insight into what your biggest resource is. And it could be focus, agility, time, or energy. That's focus, agility, time, or energy. I call them the fates. And so one of those things is probably your biggest resource right now. And those things change over time. Mine happens to be focus right now. I don't have a whole lot of energy and I don't have a whole lot of time. In fact, I'm going to be hopping off with, with y'all, like I said, in like 15 minutes, and then I have to eat lunch, make sure my kids are good with school, I have to work on my projects and all those different things. But I have a lot of focus. Take the quiz, you'll be able to understand what your biggest focus is. And if you understand what your biggest focus is, back to number two, you can know your resources and know what you're capable of. All right, so number one, if you break, then the house breaks, period. If you're the main person in charge of the house, um, if you're the primary caretaker, if you got little ones or even older adults, you know, or someone, someone who's dependent on you, let's expand it a little bit, then you need to be able to manage yourself and take care of yourself. Um, again, one good book that's worth discussing in this is uh, The Good News About Bad Behavior by Catherine Reynolds Lewis. Highly recommend it. Check it out. That'll help you as far as, um, hopefully help you as far as managing your kids and, <laughs> and managing yourself, which is really the only thing you can manage. Uh, number two, you have to know your resources and know what you're capable of. So important. My book will be a really good place to start with it. That's actually the premise of the entire book. It's available on all the platforms now. Audiobook, carrier pigeon, whatever. You can get it. Go from now, how to know your power, see your abundance and nourish the world. If you're going to mess with this book or if you're curious about the book or if you just want to get those insights immediately, you can take a quick, I think it's five minute quiz, free quiz at builtforoundquiz.com. Figure out what your main resources are. As I say in a, an excerpt that ran uh, at, a, at Hillary Sutton's uh, blog, which I have it linked um, on my website and elsewhere, shout out to Hillary. Uh, the old saying goes, of course I can't remember the saying now. <laughs> the, old saying, the old saying goes that if you have a hammer, then every problem is a nail. And then I take it further and say, 
you know, the problem, real problem is that when you don't realize you have a hammer, you could have a banana and you're trying to solve, trying to save the world or, you know, work from home with your kids and you don't know what your resource is. This is going to tell you what your hammer is. What, what are you working with? If you don't know what you're working with, how are you supposed to be productive? How are you supposed to create? How are you supposed to nourish the world or yourself or take care of your family? Bill from now goes even deeper. This quiz is a good place to start. So finally, so number one, if you break, the house breaks. Number two, know your resources and what you're capable of. Number three, and as I mentioned before, there's a big tenet of my one-on-one -on -one coaching process. Stretch your timeline. Stretch your timeline. You have to know what's going on in your life and then be honest about what you're capable of at that moment. As I mentioned during the, the Costco launch last week, um, when I worked on my first major startup called uh, So Quotable, it was an app that allowed you to capture people's quotes. See my fingers going. It's like instinctive. Like I saw a startup like seven years ago, but I still remember it really well. But you can capture other people's quotes if they say something interesting. You can capture it, share it on social media or in a private chat. Really simple idea. The idea took me five months of programming, designing, all those things. I was also a primary caretaker of my eldest son, who you recently heard. Um, and so he was four months old at the time. So from when he was four months old to nine, right? Four months old to nine months old, um, primary caretaker of him during the day. And then at night or really early in the morning, as I break down in um, the Ultimate Bite Size Entrepreneur, I tell this whole story. I wake up at 3.15 in the morning, work from 3.15 a.m. to 6 a.m. And my son will wake up at 6 a.m. like clockwork. And so those three hours were how I did my startup. Um, that took me five months. Understandably, when, when I say it objectively, seven years later, um, as I've said in the book and in other other venues, my good friends in Silicon Valley, still cool with them. But when I lived in Silicon Valley, they could have done that same project. My single friends, those that didn't have dependents or have kids, my single friends could have done it in like five weeks. My experienced entrepreneurship friends could have done it in five days. I'm 100% positive. And now that I've built my startups and all those things, I can, I can, they call it turn up. I can turn up things really quickly. Um, but I didn't have that experience then. And I had a, a wonderful, beautiful crying baby 24 hours a day for five months. So I stretched the timeline. That was the only way I was going to make it. Otherwise, I wasn't going to make it because I'd say, well, you know, if I didn't have to deal with was taking care of the baby, if I didn't have to do the startup, if I didn't have to make a living, because I wasn't making a living. So I started to do journalism, still writing books and doing other things. If I didn't do these other things, then <laughs> and then suddenly I'm giving up on my dreams. Suddenly we're not talking anymore. Because <laughs> that startup, so quotable, that got a cult following. It got me on the TED stage. You can watch my TED Talks at um youtube.com slash Brown Damon. I'll throw up the link at the end. Actually, let me throw it up now. Because I'm talking about. Um, but but all those things wouldn't have happened. All those things wouldn't have happened if I just gave up. And as I shared recently, with all the coaching clients that I've had, and it's approaching the hundreds between the keynotes and the um, private coaching I do with my own practice, as well as the ones I do for organizations, the biggest problem isn't having a really big goal. That's fine. Our problem when we're ready to give up is because we want to do this goal in this amount of time. I want to be a millionaire in five minutes. <laughs> I want to have a best-selling book in a year, right? I want to have an active coaching practice in three months. It doesn't add up. And so you add in, let me put the stretch of timeline back on there. You add in, you having little ones and you can forget about it. Like we shouldn't be, we should be stretching our timelines anyway. As Bill Gates said, and I mentioned this in, in a previous uh, discussion, again, on my YouTube channel, I'll throw it back up. You know, we underestimate how much we can do in a decade and overestimate how much we can do in a couple of years. And that's a serious problem. If you think you're going to change the world in like six months, I don't know. But if you say six years, now you're talking. Now you have some room for strategy. This is where I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to get you out of the day to day. And with kids, particularly if you're an active parent, yeah, the day-to-day -day, day -day can really pull you down. Um, and I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just there's so much minutia 
where you're not able to pull above, pull above and say, oh, okay, this is, why sh- this is what I should be working on. This is my strategy. I'm trying to get you as a coach, as ideally a mentor, as a book author, as a, a live streamer, whatever. I'm trying to get you to the point where you're thinking more about strategy, just trying, as opposed to just trying to get through the list, trying to get through the day to day. We need to pull up above that. I would literally not have the success I have, not be talking to you, not be nourishing the world, which I hopefully am. I wouldn't be able to do that if I was focused on just the day to day. Because man, like again, right before I got on this call, there's like three things going on. You thought the house was on fire, but I know part of a bigger strategy, those things are, that can be taken care of and everyone's fine. <laughs> I mean, proverbial, the house was on fire, not literally, but everybody's fine. And then I'm here with y'all. And my strategy is talking with y'all and make sure my kids are good. That's part of the thing. A book I would recommend to get you in this mindset would be uh, The 10% Entrepreneur. I read this after I did my book, um, The Bites as Entrepreneur. <laughs> and my book came out. Y'all made it a bestseller, so thank you. And the book came out and like nine, 10 months later, you know, I found his book and his book was already around. And I was like, the Tempest Entrepreneur, this, this feels kind of bite-sized. And I checked it out. And it's got by a game, guy named Patrick McGinnis. Patrick McGinnis. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Patrick McGinnis. Great book. In fact, I stumbled on it on a podcast. And I was like, 10%? That sounds like bite size. And it ended up being a kindred spirit. He and I have chatted very briefly on social media. I've mentioned him in my ink column. Um, I really appreciate the book. It's very well done. And it's part of that argument. In fact, if you bought the Bites of Entrepreneur, this would be a good companion to it. Um, he's His standpoint, I believe, is a little bit more corporate, but it fits very well. Mine is a little bit you know, independent. I bootstrap both my startups. So I come from different angles, but it's the same argument. Do 10% today. That's it. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. We're all saying the same thing. You got to stretch your timeline. If you do little pieces today, you're automatically stretching your timeline right? Even if you want to get meta for a second, me talking to you on this YouTube channel, there were so many ideas that I wanted to share and so many coaching things I wanted to give and so many books that I wanted to recommend to y'all. And I waited until the time was right, which was late December of last year to come and talk to y'all daily. And with this live thing, talk to y'all weekly. But I waited for that. I had the little pieces and I was waiting for them to come together. I wasn't in a rush as opposed to me just hopping on here, winging it, let's see what happens. No, 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 because I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to do that as far as my resources, my focus, my agility, my time and energy. I can't afford to do that. My kids need me, my partner needs me. Um, we're sheltering in place right now. I have my normal coaching clients, et cetera. Long list of like 20 or 30 different commitments that are happening right now. And I have my book launch, which has happened a few days ago with Build From Now. And so my whole point is that you can create amazing things. As I often say, you just need to stretch the timeline. So let's bring it back up to the top. So if you're going to be working from home with kids, understand that if you break, the house breaks. If you're in charge at home and you push yourself too hard and you're laid up somewhere, that's not going to help anybody. Again, I highly recommend uh, Catherine's book, The Good News About Bad Behavior. You're seeing it lit up on, uh, on Amazon. Actually, I'll throw the link on here too. And it could give you good perspective and objectivity. No, your kids aren't the worst, the worst kids in the world. Trust me, they're not. But this book actually talks about the science of it. She's a fellow journalist. So, you know, the research is thorough. There's nothing sloppy in here. It's not opinion. Let me make that clear. We're both journalists, just like my books are not opinion. They're, they're based on statistics and experiences with coaching clients. It's not just, I think this. Now, you're not going to get that from a journalist. I'm really proud of Catherine's work, and uh, it's worth highlighting here. So number one, if you break, the house breaks, check out her book to get a start on that. Number two, you have to know your resources and what you're capable of. How can you make an impact? How can you make decisions about balancing your kids and, um, and uh, your career or whatever you're doing if you don't know what your resources are? A good place to start would be my new book, Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. Out now, fresh out. It just came out a few days ago. Fresh out. And it's available on all the major platforms. Uh, if you want to learn more the, about the book, or more importantly, if you want to learn more about your resources, you can take the free quiz at 
BuildFromNowQuiz.com, BuildFromNowQuiz.com. Again, it's free. It'll take you two to five minutes. It's multiple choice. It's about as easy as, as I can make it. And it'll help you understand what your biggest resource is. Then you can start making strategic decisions about how you can work from home with kids. Otherwise, you don't know what you're working with. So if you don't know your resources, you have to know your resources, know what you're capable of. If you don't know that, how are you going to get started? Lastly, my favorite one, stretch your timeline. If you're trying to start your new business and you think it's going to take two months, make it eight. It might hurt. It might, might hurt a little bit. But you'd rather be honest with yourself now than burn out later. You don't want that. Um, a really good book to check that out, which is a good companion to my own book. Um, can't, can't even sort through my books here. <laughs> I've written too many books. Uh, the Ultimate Bite Size Entrepreneur Trilogy. A good parallel to that would be The 10% Entrepreneur by T Patrick McGinnis. Again, shout out to him. Uh, where he talks about how you can break things down into smaller pieces. Again, become a bite size entrepreneur and uh, make impact on the world on a slower timeline. People don't want to hear slow. I get it. I am a highly driven individual. Heck, I'm talking to you every single day on YouTube. You know, you think I'm not driven, right? So I get it that you want to get your idea out, that you want to push yourself. But if you're working from home, let's break it down. You're working from home with kids, trying to stay safe during a pandemic, navigating whatever other personal stuff or professional stuff you have going on, you might have your hands full. So the things I'm talking about, if the house breaks, if, if the house breaks, if you break, the house breaks, knowing your resources and what you're capable of and stretching your timeline, all those things were relevant before. Remember, I did my two startups um, while I was primary caretaker of our first son from when he was four months old to right after his second birthday when I sold my second startup. That was well before the pandemic. It was hard then. It's even harder now. That's why I'm trying to reach out to y'all, give you guys some knowledge and any type of insight that I have, and more importantly, recommending these, these great books over to you. Again, from the top, good news, the good news about bad behavior. Uh, my own book, Built From Now, because you got to know your resources. Otherwise, how are you going to strategize? And The 10% Entrepreneur by Patrick McGinnis. The book at the top, good news about bad people. Good news about bad people. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I was thinking about a, a Modest Mouse album. The Good News About Bad Behavior, <laughs> forgive me, Catherine, is by Catherine Reynolds Lewis. I recommend all these. If you want to get, again, more insight into, into the work that you're doing and your resources, you can take the free quiz at BillFromNowQuiz.com. If you're liking this and me coming through, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the comments that have already come through. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps me keep going. It helps to get in front of other people and all those things. And it's getting to the point where I've had my daily show for, it's been a minute. It's been a minute where I'm starting to try to catalog it because there's so many different shows because I'm doing this daily. I'm getting to a point now where there's getting to be some type of rhythm and I'm starting to connect with y'all more. And I would love to connect with even more of you. And if you're appreciating this, come through. Like, share, comment, or subscribe, no matter what platform you're on. Right now, I'm beaming over to LinkedIn. Shout out to LinkedIn. I'm beaming over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Brown Damon. Throw your comments in there. Thank you for coming through and supporting it and subscribing. And I'm over at, at Amazon Live. So shout out to the Amazon folks for supporting the platform and supporting the book. Again, the new book is Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. Um, if you want to learn more about me, and about some of the services I have and the books that I have and all that good stuff, you come over to damonbrown.net. Most importantly, Built From Now quiz. Come through, you know, figure out what resources you're working with. If you're struggling, maybe if you're doing okay with working from home with kids, it can't hurt to understand your resources better. Again, it's free, super quick, and it'll give you the, hopefully the resources or the, the insight into your resources so you can strategize and go forward from there. All right. Listen, I hear my kids calling. So remember that you can always bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.